Hey, how's it going? Hopefully you're having an awesome day. My name is Ruben, also known as Rally Flow Bro, on all my platforms such as Twitch, Twitter, YouTube. You can find me in all those places, and I wanted to talk a little bit about Analog. Now, if you don't know who Analog is, this company recreates some of the retro consoles of your youth and brings it into the modern age using FPGA technology. If you don't know what FPGA technology is, I would go ahead and give that a Google real quick. It's very intricate, it's really cool, and it's awesome the amount of stuff that you could possibly do with it. Um, so this company announced today that some of their most popular things are going to be discontinued. But first, I want to talk about all three announcements that they have. The first announcement is that the Analog Pocket pre-orders will ship before the end of 2022. Now, I'm not sure if they're going to end up canceling this product, but I know they are canceling the Super NT and the Mega SG. Two, the Pocket cartridge adapters will be available for pre-order uh, for $99 on October 21st. That's pretty cool. If you have an Analog Pocket, you can get the adapters to play Lynx, you can play uh, Game Gear, and I think a couple other things. And then the last and final announcement, which caught everybody with surprise because the Super NT and the Mega SG are really cool little things. You can play your cartridges in HD without the need of upscalers or anything else. And you know what? It is pretty cool. I have a few buddies with both of them or one of them. I have a buddy who has the NT Noir, which is their NES one, which they discontinued last year, I believe. Um, so the final run will be October 28th, and it's available for pre-order for $199. Now, I kind of wanted to talk about the alternatives because this isn't the end-all, be-all. There are a few different options that you have that may do a little bit better for you in the long run than paying $200 per console. So we have the Mr. FPGA. If you don't know what the Mr. FPGA is, so it uses sort of the same technology. And here's mine. It's an awesome little awesome little device actually hold up let me uh let me show it off and zoom in it's an awesome little device and you can play a whole lot of stuff on here you can play neo geo you can play second genesis you can play super nintendo game boy game boy advance game boy color turbo graphics turbo graphics cd the list goes on also arcade and old school retro gaming computers this is one of my favorite pieces of tech and i regret nothing about buying this i bought it before it raised up to the current price that it's at, but where it's at is where it's at. It's $425 for the pre-configured bundle without the awesome aluminum case. This case does not have enough fan in it. It is completely cool by the aluminum block that's in here. It's very nice. It's very silent. It's one of the best things that I own. I would recommend getting the aluminum pre-configured case from Mr. Add-ons, also known as Pork Chop Express over on Twitter and in the Discords. Or you can get yourself a Super Nintendo console for about $45 shipped. Depending on where you're looking, you can check eBay, you can check Mercari, you can check Facebook Marketplace. You could probably get it cheaper. You could even find broken ones that are supposedly broken and that all they really need is a cleaning, which is how I bought mine. I bought this one for $20 something dollars shipped. And honestly, nothing was wrong with it. All I did was clean it. It was also in a yellow shell, which I ended up going on eBay and finding myself this shell for about $14. And uh, you know what? That worked out nicely because it looks really fresh, minus a little bit of damage in the corner over there. Um, the other option for Sega Genesis is you go yourself and get yourself a Model 1 Sega Genesis, like I have here. And I regret nothing about it. This is a very nice Sega Genesis. Paired with insurrection cables for both the Genesis and the Super Nintendo, they would look really well in standard definition on a CRT television, which I know not a lot of you are going to be having a CRT in your house, which is fine, which is why I go to the next thing that you should get if you're going to have this stuff. This is the RetroTINK 5X. It is an upscaler. It allows you to upscale up to 1080p, 1440. Uh, it could even go up to 4K. However, I would not use the 4K because it does not, it's a little bit choppy. This is not made for 4K. He is working on a, a uh, Mike Chi, that is. He's working on a new one, which will be the Retro Tink 4K, and it will do up to 4K, and it'll make your stuff look absolutely glorious. Right now, if you were to get both a Sega Genesis and a Super Nintendo, you would say maybe pay, that's 45, then we'll, we'll say $75. 
And then you go ahead and you get yourself your retro tank, and that's $300. You would still be under $400 for both of them, and you'd be able to play your old cartridges, which is absolutely phenomenal. And then you could even use that retro tank upscaler for something else like your, let's say, Xbox 360, or your Nintendo Wii, or your Nintendo 64, or your Dreamcast, you know? So those are other options other than going to, say, analog and buying these, you know, $200 a pop and it only plays one console, which uh, I'm sure there's going to be a jailbreak and you'll be able to play all the other consoles that you would like because, you know, that's how jailbreaking works, just like they did on the analog pocket, which can now play NES, it can play Super Nintendo, it can play a whole bunch of stuff with a little bit of a firmware break. So anyways, what I wanted to tell you is that there's a bunch of different ways to go about doing this. You could even go the emulation route and go to Hyperkin and you can get yourself something from Hyperkin, which I don't downplay emulation. Emulation is what it is. I grew up emulating just about everything because let's face it, back in the day when I was a kid, nobody had a lot of money and my uncle showed me about emulation and it was the coolest thing that I had ever seen at the time. So this is an other option for you, even though it's not one-to-one. -one. These are clones. A lot of them are eh with the compatibility. But I mean, if you wanted something HD and you can't get your hands on that, eh, Hyperkin is another option. I would preferably go with a Super Nintendo or a Sega Genesis and just say, screw it, I'm going to get the retro tank and call it a day. Now, originally, when I saw the analog consoles, I really, really, really wanted one but I wasn't able to get one because they were always sold out. So one day I came across Smoke Monsters videos on the Mr. FPGA. And when I found out that how much it could actually do, I was like, oh, hell yeah, this is for me. So anyways, guys, what do you guys think? Do you prefer an FPGA device like the Mr. FPGA or original hardware as the Super Nintendo or the Sega Genesis? coupled with a retro tank 5x or do you think you should get the analog console when it drops on the october 28th which is the last time that you could possibly buy it i don't know it's up to you guys let me know what you think in the comments below like and subscribe if you liked the video if you didn't whatever keep it pushing hopefully you have an awesome day kick ass take names and bye bye